Okay, um, it's the next morning. I don't know what that red dot is on camera. It's just the, there's nothing there. No, we're in a, we're in a hotel. We're in a hotel. <laughs> and I feel like. Ashley's on a call with her friends. We are going to pick them up here within a few minutes. We're gonna leave. Um, not the most comfortable night's sleep. The bed was comfortable. I just, you know, when you're in a hotel, it's not your bed. Um, the kids kept kind of waking up. Well, they stayed up <laughs> giggling, right, Chelsea? She's, yes. So, um, we're just kind of getting packed up. Jason left bright and early. I think he woke up at like eight o'clock. I was gonna jump in your bed, but you were across the whole bed. I, it's a king bed. It's, a, it was a nice size. I don't even think I touched Jason all night long. <laughs> so, we're just getting packed up. I'm trying to get it to where I can like, I don't have Jason to help me carry it all down, so. But you have us. Yeah, but, okay. you know. <laughs> so, we've already planned. Yeah, she needs to go and get hers iron done. Her, her mom, her and her friends are gonna come over to her house. We're gonna go pick them up. But one of them has to do some homework before we can pick her up. And so, yeah, she needs to go. Ella needs to go and get her homework done. It's because her parents don't really care. It's her teacher that is. I understand. So, annoying. we're gonna get loaded up and then get on the road. It's like, we're, we're 20 minutes from home. <laughs> okay, we're putting, <laughs> we're putting uh, their little bed back together. So cut all the sheets and towels and blank, well, sheets and blankets on the bed here. All the towels piled up. They just need to grab their stuff. I'm already done. And you're already ready. All right, we are headed home. Well, apparently Chelsea and Ashley are having M&M's for breakfast. I'm not. <laughs> I am you hungry. are. I know, we are hungry. We thought the hotel had a breakfast, but they don't. Um, but we are just headed home to go get their friends, or get Ashley's friends. So we're gonna go to, you can't see it, Chick-fil-A. Chick we're gonna just go get um, frozen lemonades and some fries. <laughs> out of the many times we've been there, I've never got one. Have you never had a taste of like Dad's or Ashley's or Abby's? Because they they're usually. They don't? Yeah. That doesn't share with you? Well, that <laughs> shares with me. No, no, you don't come with us. You get, maybe you get food when we get home. Yeah. 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 She I well, she doesn't, yeah, anyway. So, she she's really never like had it. Like. So we're, we've got to, you know, got to let her experience the frozen lemonade. I bet, their, better, their machine better not be broken. It was last time we were here. We don't need that kind of luck today. So we just ordered and the worker, they have workers like taking orders in the line outside and because Chick-fil-A's customer service is the best yeah. of anything ever. Right. And um, and so we ordered the chick the frozen lemonades and she's like, are those good? And I was like, how do you so work good. here? And you don't know. And she's like, I've never had one. And I was like, then I demand you have one on your lunch break. I should have just paid for her to get one. <laughs> Tell her it'll be inside for you when you go inside. Stop. Um, but anyway, what? that was very absurd. I mean, Chelsea hasn't had it, but she rarely like comes out and about with us these days. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. All right, Chelsea, you gotta watch the road. So <laughs> I just have that camera aimed at you. I want to know what your reaction is. She's a little funky, but a little funky. Little... It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I tell you guys, this is the girl of no reaction. She gets an iPhone for Christmas. Eh. All right, thanks. What's next? Then me over here excited over the dishwasher. Dish I know Ashley's like excited over a dishwasher magnet. You're gonna get the best reaction when I get a photo. All right. Or well, I'm glad you kind of enjoy. It. I know you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You just it's you good. don't like reactions. No. Guess what I've been doing all afternoon. <laughs> And relaxing. I couldn't really film today once we got home because Ashley ended up having four friends, no three friends, come over. She still has one friend out here. Um, I'm not sure when her mom is coming actually. Do you know when her mom's coming? She doesn't know. All right I've kind of been chatting with her but I'm gonna find out. Do you want me to make you a sandwich real quick? Yeah. Okay I'm gonna make her some dinner. I'm actually just gonna make a peanut butter sandwich for myself because we tend to have at least I'm taking a lot of food to our game night. Um, so I don't want to fill up on a full Wait, dinner. So are you bringing to take to Um, I wasn't planning on that. I'm kind of hoping her mom can come and get her. Can I, can I play with her next door? We'll talk about that. You need to work on the last messes 
out there. Nail polish especially. Um, but I edited yesterday's video. I haven't done today's because we haven't done it very much. Um, and then I started watching Outer Banks season three. Three, season three. <laughs> so good. I think I'm only on the second episode. Um, so I haven't been wasting a ton of time. But the girls were so occupied and they were having so much fun and all the weight was taken off of me. I didn't have to entertain. Um, anyway, it was great. But now I kind of need to be an adult who can actually some dinner and figure out when this last little friend is going home and get our food ready to go to game night tonight. Um, let me see here. Let's just say, feel free to come and get her before 6.30 p.m. Okay, so hopefully. I just don't wanna go out and take her home. I wouldn't mind doing that, but I literally would have to come home, get Jason, because he's not home yet, then go back out, get Abby from work, bring her back home, and then go to game night. I would spend the entire hour, how much time do I have? Uh, yeah, entire hour doing that, and I actually need to prep the food and have something to eat. So I don't really have time to like do all that. So, um, so we're gonna go out and kind of get our food prepped she's medicine for tonight she's doing a really good job taking it with a timer okay I've got some peppers and pineapple cut up your friends are all gone now yeah. correct oh did she forget something one just barely left I need to remember to get the game where is it oh crud that's hey, what we, we are headed home from game night it was quite fun I did not win yet again we played Oak I won, Rod. I won the second. You did? No, you won the second one? I won Quirkle. Quirkle. And then we, we played Oak Crud to begin with. It was quite fun. And um, we are headed home, but it is supposed to start snowing in the next 20 to 30 minutes. And then it's supposed to snow all night long until about 6 or 7 a.m. And it's cold. 38, no, 37. 37. Um, so the interesting thing is that the one of the husbands, one of the guys that we were at his house, he gets to call the shot on whether we have church tomorrow. <laughs> and we were like, Well, hey. doesn't he have to coordinate with the Yeah, he he has to kind of coordinate and, and call you know to different areas and, and look at snow levels or whatever and we're like, Hey Kevin, like why don't you just call us out at church and <laughs> just <laughs> but I told him I was like, Can you let me know in the next like hour and a half so I can decide if I'm going to do my hair tomorrow or not because I straighten it at night so I don't have to get up so early. And he's like, oh, nope, I have to make the call in the morning. So I'm going to go home actually and straighten my hair and then we'll see if it actually starts to snow. But it is, it looked like when you look at the, um, like the weather app, like the, the blue, it like, there's nothing. Try to find like, if you could. If I can find it, I'll try and put it out here on the cool. screen. How do you record that? How do you record I can try and do a screen recording from my phone um, because it's just this big wall of like blue snow that just wallops the entire Seattle area. Like the entire, like, what is it, west side of Seattle. <sighs> so. It just gets it all. Well, no, we're on the west side of the state. West side of the state, yes. Yes. Not Seattle. No, but it wallops Seattle too. It, like, I know, but you said it wallops the west side of Seattle and it's like... West uh, side, I guess, including I Seattle is what I meant. He, he's being a douche. <laughs> he was being a douche the people, whole time no, we were playing games. For the people who don't live in the area and don't Okay, okay, know. okay. I will try and put a map on the screen so that... <laughs> I'm gonna go do that right now so that I can... whatever. Okay. Even though it's 11 o'clock at night, you have everyone down here doing their chores. And we're gonna kinda keep an eye on whether we actually get snow or not. Jason and I just came home um, 10 minutes ago or so, and it's supposed to start snowing. So I'm gonna kinda keep an eye on it and keep this video open for a little bit to see if we actually get our winter mix for the evening. Never know, never know. Um, luckily I didn't do a ton of walking tonight because I didn't remember that I didn't have my watch on. Um, but we shall see if, I'm gonna, unfortunately, I actually 
think I'm gonna go and straighten my hair and get ready for church because I really want to get ready and go to church. I haven't been for two weeks now um, just because we haven't felt good enough to go. I actually really want to go. So I think I'm gonna go upstairs. Here, will you take that, Jace? Uh, Here, you just take, take that. All right, this is proof that I straightened my hair today. I do have every intention of going to church tomorrow. <laughs> and I don't know if I see snow. Hang on, I have to turn the light out to see. Well, maybe I can see out this window. Do have, we have everything lined up to be able to go to church tomorrow. Not that we're like ones to look for an excuse to not go to church. Mm. I'm gonna have to turn out the light and see if I see snow out there. I can't tell with the light on. But Abby has to work tomorrow, um, right at the same time we need to go to church. So there's a plus. And then so we already have to get up, at least one of us has to get up. We got home from our game night early in anticipation of trying to get us more rest. Um, and I've gotten my hair done. Sorry, blue light down there. I, I have everything lined up to be able to go to church tomorrow. And I guarantee you, because I have everything all lined up, and we're in bed before midnight. Church is gonna be canceled tomorrow. I'm gonna to check for snow. No snow yet, so we're gonna to go to bed. And oh, I have to go check and make sure Ashley's off of her iPad. We're gonna to go to bed and I'm gonna set my alarm to get up in time to get ready for church if we are gonna go. And we'll see if we have snow. They're supposed to send out um, messages at 6 6 30 in the morning and I was gonna set my alarm for 7 so hopefully by the time my alarm goes off we will know yay or nay and I'll be back with you and we'll find out I've been in bed for one hour and I decided to go and look at the snow it's one in the morning hang on do I have a squirt why are you awake? Dude, I never go to the I know you don't. Okay, let's look and see if it's, it's snowing a lot. Holy cow. No, it's still snowing. It's still snowing and it's supposed to snow for like another seven hours. are all covered up. So not only does Abby have to work, but I just found out that Kaylee has to go to work as well. And we might have to take her, or at least like shift cars around and not have her take um, her car. I might have to have her take my car because mine's all wheel drive and hers is not. So we'll wake up in the morning, we'll show them how much it snowed, okay? Okay. Okay, we're gonna go to bed, correct? Totally, totally going to bed. And we're going to church. <laughs> well, it probably did snow for a few more hours last night. Um, here, I'll show you the rooftops of what I can see from my bedroom. I've been up for an hour or so getting ready for church. So we did get a little dusting, nothing stuck on the roads, which is the key sign of canceled or not canceled. And now it's raining. So <laughs> it'll all be washed away by the time we get home from church. Um, so yes, we have to go to church. So I'm gonna sign off with you today with this. I was really hoping, but honestly, when my alarm went off at seven to get up for church, looked for the emails for if it was canceled or not, or you know, from that point on, I was wide awake. I wouldn't have gone back to sleep, <laughs> even if church had been, had been canceled. Um, Maybe if I had stayed in bed and like, you know, started doing videos or something, I would have gotten more tired, but I was wide awake, so it wouldn't have made much of a difference. And now I'm dressed and ready to go. Abby and Kaylee both have to go to work. We have to take Abby, but Kaylee has her own car to go and the roads are fine for her to ride on. So she can go in her own car. So we're all up, we're all getting ready, but I've only got like 15 minutes left um, to get out the door, get Abby to work. So. I'm gonna head out. We'll see you guys next time. Fortunately, our snow apocalypse did not actually occur. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Take care, we'll see you guys next time. I know so many other people have massive snow. 
where you're at. So stay safe, stay warm, and we'll see you next time. Easy, easy.